everyone. Welcome back to the channel. I hope you're doing well. Thanks for being here, spending time with me. Let us check right in and see what storyline Spirit would like to share with us. Collective energy, please, Spirit, collective energy. Collective energy, please, Spirit, collective energy. Collective energy, please, Spirit, collective energy. Right in the central inner. Ooh, holy Toledo! What do we got here? Ooh, in the central energy, we got Ace of Cups in the reverse. Somebody doesn't have any love. Somebody doesn't have any love. They don't have any. Um, intimate connections or um, unions. No love in their cup. In the challenge position. Whoa. In the challenge position, we've got justice reversed. A punishment. Guilt. Dishonesty, lack of accountability, lack of accountability. They ignored the rules. They weren't fair. They lied. In the subconscious, In the subconscious, we've got the hermit here. So there is a light being shined on it. Somebody's revealing something. The truth. In the recent past. In the recent past, we've got Nine of Pentacles. So somebody came into the reward for the fruits of their labor and has gained financial stability. Independence. Intentions and expectations. The Two of Cups, Unified Love, Mutual Attraction, and Marriage Connection. Mutual Attraction, meaning it's not just, somebody's not just out here to gain something, they're actually attracted to you. You got this reward. So there's the reward, and then there's the new, the new connection <clears throat> that somebody else didn't get in the near future. In the near future, we've got the Five of Swords reversed. No more fighting. Somebody's in regret. The lens is being looked through. It is the Ace of Pentacles. A cycle is about to begin anew. So there's a new career, better health, a relocation, a new car, a new house, something.
a new manifestation. In the environment, a whole lot of cards came out here. I'm just going to put those back because that was like too many cards. Thank you, Spirit. In the environment, we have the Seven of Wands. So you're standing up for yourself and you've got protection in this, this environment here, maintaining control. Hopes and fears. <clears throat> Judgment. A rebirth. So there's a judgment here. And we've got the Six of Swords reversed. Somebody's resistant to change. They don't want to move on. They don't want to leave. They don't want to go. You've maintained control and, and there's judgment here and somebody doesn't want to let go of you. And the outcome, Queen of Swords, you're not getting emotional about it. You know the truth and you got your sword up, setting clear boundaries. You're like, don't be effing with me. I'm done with that. Done. Stop. And somebody is, um, they're trying to figure out what to do. They want to negotiate. There's a, there's all these different things they got going on. And there's a, and there's a, there's a death to all these multiple priorities. Two of Pentacles. So whatever these ones were doing, whatever they had going on, with this Two of Pentacles, all of these priorities, all of these multiple tasks that they had going on, that they were juggling, it's over. It's the end of that cycle. Whatever job they had, whatever they were doing, they're getting disconnected from it. There could be a maternal figure who is negotiating contracts here for innocent uh, new beginnings. And this devil is here uh, rushing forward, trying to defend their beliefs because um, they have to, they've lost. They have to accept it. They've lost and they got to move on. You've got your freedom here and there is a reconciliation. You're leaving home. You're going away. Where you're going, I don't know, but you're leaving home. There's reconciliation with the two of wands here and then the page of wands freedom and excitement limitless potential you're 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 getting ready to take off and this is the completion of your 10 of wands burden and the world the world turns this is a completion a completion double completion here double completion and the sun is out a celebration a rebirth life Looks like we might have a, a Prince Charming coming in, um, in truth. So he could be, you know, truthful. But then you've got somebody here who's um, living a scarcity and they also want to come in to um, offer love. So just, you know, they're planning for the future. Or maybe you're planning for the future. You've got this Nine of Cups and a Ten of Cups. Gee, many crickets. You're moving forward in this. You've got all kinds of stuff going for you. And you got lots of folks who want to be on your happy train here. They want to be part of your big picture.
Alrighty then, so Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody doesn't have any love. They don't have a love offer. They, they're not connected with anybody. Um, they're disconnected from their intuition. There's no love in them. So um, they could be empty, feeling empty inside. Prophecy in the reverse. Whatever prophecy they were going for, maybe it's a false prophecy. Maybe whatever their prophetic word or whatever they saw, whatever they foresaw that was going to happen didn't happen. Whatever they prophesied. So they could have been getting divination and they could have received something, a reading that told them they were going to get this love cup, but they didn't get it. It was a bad reading. It could have been a karmic reader. I don't know. But they're having an emotional loss because whatever was prophesied was false. It didn't happen. And the love cup is in the reverse. Ace of cups in the reverse. The challenge is we've got justice in the reverse. We've got dishonesty and guilt. Lack of accountability and a punishment. They were not fair. They lied. They're um, challenged because you have a defense. You had a defense. You were defended. They lied. And you have a defense against it. Somebody shining a light on it, on the truth of it. <clears throat> Somebody who survived. Oh my goodness. So soul searching. Soul searching and then survived. So you survived being disconnected. And your light is on. And your light is on. You survived being disconnected. Your light is on. The, what they were told, they were told that they were going to be able to what? Put your light out or whatever. But you survived being disconnected. And you've got your nine of pentacles here. You've, um, for all the, all of the um, trials and tribulations you went through, that you worked really hard to um, get through independently, you're, getting, you're being rewarded for that. For all that crap you had to go through. You're going to be able to be comfortable and stable. The snake. Look. The snake wanted your spiritual throne. The snake, the snake is here. You've got your spiritual throne. So here you are. Nine of Pentacles, spiritual throne, and we got the snake. I'm not saying the snake got it. I'm saying the snake's there. The intention and expectation is that there is a Two of Cups union here. This snake thinks he's going to get a marriage into a spiritual throne. But you survived. And they don't have a love cup. Whatever was prophesied to them was false. You had a, you have a defense here. They're guilty of lying. They're going to get punished. You're on your spiritual throne. You're stable. You're secure. You, you, got, you have your reward here. There's, this ancestry was acting and messaging as you. Intentions and expectation. This actor from your ancestry figured that they were going to be you. Or maybe they're receiving the message that there is a marriage here. We're going to have to get more clarification. Yeah, you've got ancestry pretending to be you. They're getting a message. Um, the fight is over. They want to reconcile. Whoa. They want to reconcile. The wise guy isn't so wise. They're promising uh, not to do any more labor against you. 
but we all know that they they don't tell the truth you know there there's we've got to they have revenge remorse they're in regret they're trying to promise this wise guy isn't so wise he's not feeling like such a wise guy now the labor that he did um failed or and he's promising not to do anymore okay so that's what we got there they're resent they're resentful of the decisions that they made in the past they would like to make amends we've got the ace of pentacles here so a new career a new cycle is beginning here religion let me just read what this card says for you real quick because it comes up a lot and i just want to um read it here at its core religion isn't a card about spirituality instead it denotes more of a conceptual or theological framework religion indicates the dogma of faith and its rituals and rites Organized religions can have a powerful influence over their adherents and represent their many inherent needs. If you draw this card, there's something significant about a belief system and the influence or role that religion plays in the life of an ancestor or individual. Historically, it's important to remember that a place of community worship was formidable. Not only was this the compass of morality for the community, town, or village, it also served as a social club that connected and supported people through life's milestones life and death celebrations and hardships the religion card represents a devout member of congregation it also could indicate someone who dedicated their life to religious services alternatively there are those for whom religion was a hot topic of a debate a source of fanaticism or a symptom of deeper afflictions and intolerance and hatred Regardless of your beliefs or background, in times of doubt and confusion, connect with your higher self and the universal consciousness that transcends any unsound but deeply ingrained sermons delivered from the generational pulpit. So there's a question. Is there a pattern based on inherited doctrine that may be causing feelings of guilt, unworthiness, self-doubt, or a predetermination of doom? so there's a new venture there's a new cycle uh, regarding religion okay and and the pentacles here so there's a new career a new cycle a new opportunity for religion for religious uh okay for religion and in the environment you've got seven of wands here so you stood up for yourself you were able to persevere through these challenges you've maintained your control and it could be that you are a teacher now or that you have learned a lot along the way you've got judgment hope and fear we've got judgment so there's a new phase an ending and a beginning right a rebirth but we've got the six of swords in the reverse so there's unfinished business and somebody's resistant to change they don't want to change They're going to, that what they want to change is, is the perception of you on your spiritual throne. They want to change your mind. They, um, purpose, they failed in their purpose. They did not, they were not successful in their purpose. Judgment is being called. They're losing uh, their position of purpose. Queen of Swords is here. Unbiased judgment, justice independent, setting clear boundaries. Clear-minded, know, knows very perceptive, knows the truth here. This is her Nine of Pentacles and her spiritual throne. And she's calling judgment here. Body. There could be a body of people that are with her, or perhaps there is something going on with the body of this um, organization or something. <clears throat> They've got limited perceptions. They they had a they had a misperception, and they were horse playing around with their status of privilege. With people who were conscientious about their their mental body and stuff 
And they were, um, this, this vain person was trying to appear as that in a limelight position that belonged to a wholesome person who is being remembered now. So it's an identity thief who's going into the grave. It could be that they're home, that they're going to lose their home. They're going to lose their home because they were, they were seen by somebody of importance and justice is going to be delivered and served on behalf of those who shine who was put through an extreme amount of drama um, they may be getting visitations from invisible folk and have a need to self-preserve here and now they've got addictions and the arcana are being congratulated for the love that they hold within their heart, for the care that they showed to their inner divine. They're a sovereign being. <clears throat> and um, they're expecting to take this seat, this spiritual throne. In the recent past, they've got it here, a reward, fruits of their labor, stability, um, they're on the spiritual throne. They um, are expected to take that seat after all the hardship that they've overcome from this tribe who is playing both sides of the court against each other. Um, attention has been brought to this situation, to the things of the evermore. These ones were in competition and fighting for it, manipulating minds into conflict. That's what they did. But you're entering into your leadership role. You're as seen as you are. Look at that. All peacefully, meditating, peaceful. You didn't do anything. You didn't do anything. And so now there's going to be a big old change for this explorer, time traveler, whatever, who came here as a teacher. Teaching bad practices. They wanted to appear as you and take your compass, take your path, and make you absent. But it's time for you to move forward, and you're very optimistic about it. These ones are really afraid because you've got a hidden location, or they could be going to a hidden location. Maybe they just don't know where you're at. Your method of service and your service, your being of service, whatever it is that you're doing, you're doing it perfectly. And you are forgiven, seen faithful throughout all of this haunting here. Um, you are you. You're an original, a bohemian. See, some people are, off are offended by that. But just let me read this to you, okay? Because I just, I just, people get so bent out of shape over some stuff, you know? And it's wild to me. I don't know how to pronounce that word. So I'll just say, she flows fabulously through her color outside the lines life. She prefers the gaiety and tragedy of artists, actors, and musicians, and surrounds herself with cats and lovers, fragrant smoke, and full length gilded mirrors. What tethers others to reality, marriage, children, house, and carpool, she uses as a sash for her satin kimono. Pasha. The Bohemian isn't hardwired for caregiving in the traditional sense. Lunches might not be packed, but there's always coal train coming from the speakers. <laughs> she never meant to hurt anyone who falls in love with her vagabond ways. An avowed aesthetic. I can't pronounce that word. She sees the values, the beauty in everything, but guards against anything that endangers her soul's freedom to fly and express. Having to maintain any kind of conventional structure that doesn't resonate with the mood of the moment is tedious, unreasonable, and unbearably cruel. A free spirit.
a, a happy a happy spirit a free spirit a happy spirit loving the music this player they were playing around with spirits here they were playing around with spirits trying to be seen as you they wanted to be seen as you and there's a backstory what they've been doing for as entertainment martyring people and martyring you it could be that they martyred you over and over and freaking over again this kin <clears throat> to try to take the creativity out of you an innocent being and drive you this witch was a driving you so yeah um <clears throat> Kin of witches, kin of witches, with a bad prophecy, a bad um, reading, a bad whatever they did for to gain messages. Whatever they thought was going to happen didn't happen. They lied. They were lying, and I suppose they thought that if they lied, they could force you to be disconnected forever but you survived whatever they did they didn't do it right or they or you got this defense they lied they lied so they didn't do it right it was all a lie it wasn't based in truth it was a trap and now they're going to get reciprocity they're going to get what they gave They're feeling empty. They don't, their cup is upside down. They have no love in them. Nobody, they have no love in their life. They're depressed. They might even dislike themselves at this point. They've got nobody there. It was a bad rap, man. They followed some really bad advice and now it's coming back on them in a big way. They're going to get exactly what they gave. Their challenge is that justice in, in the reverse. This is a punishment. A punishment is coming. You're being defended here. <clears throat> because you love yourself. Your light is on, shining brightly. You survived being disconnected. ruthless jackasses and you're not a third party hoe bag you're not that they might have tried to say you were that but you're not that it was a lie what the hell so you've got your nine of pentacles here your financial stability the fruits of your labor you're going to be um yeah financially independent on your spiritual throne in a new job, perhaps. You've got this snake here in the recent past, too. What's going on with this snake? <clears throat> the snake wants to escape. The snake wants to escape because you have your, you're on your throne. They couldn't keep you away from it. Queen of Swords, you're on your throne with the truth. You got your sword all up. And there's um, a connection here, a Two of Cups connection. The ancestry that was pretending to be you is getting the message. Or they're being given a message. <clears throat> this snake, they want to escape. They're getting the message. They're lying. They lied. Everything was a freaking lie. They're trying to hide the truth ancestry um that was acting like you they sent out messages of lies they lied on you hard this snake wants to escape they're having revenge remorse they they want to run they want to run away they're not feeling like a wise guy now everything that they did to work against you failed it could be the work that they promised to do they weren't able to pull it off They promised somebody that they were going to, what, do some work. And they couldn't pull it off. And now they got here, revenge, remorse. They want forgiveness. Whatever they did, they, they messed up bad. Business is done. Business is over. There's no forgiveness here. Finito. Done. Cut off. Get out. 
Ace of Pentacles here, abundance. We got religion. This is a new career or a financial opportunity for religion. Um, values upside down. Values, the values are not about money. So of people who have um, similar values, because this card reads, we have too many differences, okay? So this is similar values. So there's a new opportunity for religious folk who have similar values of whatever this new chapter is going to be. We're moving on into a new chapter. We've got you standing up for yourself, maintaining control. You have protection here. you got this defense. We've got academic. You could be a teacher or there's a teacher with you or the knowledge that you have gained um, got you through this. Oh, there's a, there's a, oh, there's a guilty teacher. You stood up for yourself. You've got protection. And then there's this teacher here who is guilty. And there's judgment here. Judgment is being called on this person. They failed in their purpose. They're resistant to change. daydreaming, longing for you, longing to be you. You're the queen of swords, clear-minded and perceptive. You got this body here, body. Let's just read up on body real quick to see what that book has to say about body. There's something significant about the physical form, the soul's container, that factors prominently in a memory or shared experience. Body also reminds you of your own choice to have incarnated into a physical life and therefore you still have the privilege and responsibility of caring for your soul's packaging. When a body appears, it can denote context of health and wellness. So you may, you may be very much into um, the health and wellness for the body, for the, the health and wellness for people, for the collective, the body of the collective. A healing. A healing. So the the um, Queen of Swords is here uh, with the truth, um, setting boundaries and regarding the collective body or the body of the collective. There is going to be a healing here for this collective. You know, this, um, and then, yeah, so people of like mind, chemistry. She's very passionate about the work she's doing here. Based in truth, she's very perceptive. She can see what's going on, feel, sense, know. There's a holding back. Somebody wish they had expressed themselves better. <clears throat> they had a um, hope that they, in the chasing after you, you know, that they could get your stuff, but they sabotage themselves, this prideful person here. They're in regret because they're all out of time. It's too late to take any action regarding this new ch chapter. It is what it is. And they're having disagreements because you are in an inseparable union and love with somebody else. They're feeling your absence and feeling broken and shattered by this. They lost you. There are people are gossiping about the secrets that they kept and they want forgiveness. But that's just because they want, they made mistakes trying to get your destiny. And you're here in reunion and they know that you are the irreplaceable one. You're not the doppelganger. You're not the actress or the actor. You're the real deal. 
and the shadow side, these people, these third parties or whatever, they neglected you, tried to put you in the dark. That's what they did. And now they're feeling overwhelmed because you are here, responsible. Or maybe they're feeling overwhelmed by their responsibilities. They're remembering responsibilities, what they're responsible for. So in other words, they're overwhelmed because in their neglect of you, um, they made they made deals. They're remembering what they're responsible for. They did not appreciate the family and now they're being detached. They didn't care for their family. We got soul contract. They're never going to forget these lessons. They're confused. This is an unexpected outcome. And they're getting um, solitary confinement because their side of the story is seen and understood. They have habitual patterns and commitments or habitual patterns regarding commitments regarding love. You know, they get into these things and then they get into that and you're not that. So what they did is they got these com these habitual patterns and third and they they're unworthy of a soul tie with you or anybody. They're running away, they're hurting from the damages that they've caused. Um, and they don't know what to do. They're indecisive. They were lying. They're unsatisfied and they miss their opportunity. They want to fix this connection because they have no energy. They'd like to talk to you. But this is just... Any any connection with this is like a, you know, go hit yourself in the hammer. You know, and rather than deal with this, if you want pain, just go hurt you. Go, go whack yourself in the shin with a freaking hammer or something. You know? Change it up a little bit. I mean, if you want to hurt, choose a different method this time, for Pete's sake. <laughs> That's what I tell myself anyway. You do whatever you want, but it is. It's kind of like, I mean, if you, if you, continuing, continuing to deal with this is like, it's like, just going out and saying, oh, this feels good. Oh, boop, 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 boop. You know, I mean, nobody likes that. But sometimes that's what we do to ourselves. And it's like we're, there's some kind of wire in there that got crossed. And we don't really understand what's happening until it, until it really causes some significant damage. Which is where we're at now. So this snake, they're in an Ace of Cups reverse. They have no love. They have no money. They have no nothing. There's nothing in their house. There's no emotional. They could very well dislike themselves very greatly. There's prophecy in the reverse. Whatever divination um, storyline that they got, it was false. And they're receiving what they gave with this reciprocity card. You were not, they were not able to keep you in the rabbit hole. You, they couldn't bind you up in this crazy drama. They were unsuccessful at binding you there. Um, you survived, and so you you were you disconnected from them because you weren't a third party hoe bag, and they were lying on you big time. They couldn't stuff you in that rabbit hole because they lied. It was all a big fat lie. Justice in the reverse. They're guilty of dishonesty. You have defense. You love yourself. You're not what they painted you as. They were playing games with love. They were playing games with your love. Trying to stuff you in a rabbit hole. You got the light on inside of you. Um, it could be that there is a light being shined on this. You survived being disconnected. You were never a third, a third will enemy. It was all a lie. Whatever they were told in this divination that caused them to behave in such a manner was a lie. They did all this based on a lie. There is no forgiveness for this. No forgiveness. They've shown their heart. They've shown the brutality of their core. The truth. The authentic and transparent truth. 
you know, because they really thought they had it in the bag. And so they just let it all out and said, oh, this is who I am. I wear it loud. I wear it proud, right? And you survived. And so now you're coming into reward and you are on this spiritual throne. And this snake wants to escape. Because you're acting fierce. You're protecting yourself. You may be aggressive. Like you're not messing around. You know, people want to come up and, and exercise authority over you. You're like out. Out of here. You're done giving people the ear. You're done letting people steer you. You're done letting people present themselves as an authority in your life. They want to come in and act as though they know more are worth more have more of a right to speak and they're rude because they'll call you out and say you're actually wrong and they'll come into your environment and try to discredit you in your environment. They'll take their little ass right to your place and say, you're wrong. It's like, why are you here? Did you come all the way here specifically to tell me that I'm wrong? That's your purpose here? They broke every damn promise that they ever had. So now they want to escape because you're being aggressive. You're being very fierce. You've got your two of cups here. You've got your marriage connection. You're in your nine of pentacles, your rewards. You're on your spiritual throne. This ancestry of yours, whoever this is, this snake ancestry, they were pretending to be you. And now they're getting the message or they're sending out messages. They're so they could be sending out lies or they're getting the message that um, you know about their lies. But they might be trying to tell lies right now. They're, they're trying to write a message, sending a messenger with lies about you, perhaps. Pieces. Everything's fallen in pieces. Or maybe they lied. Because they lied, everything's falling into pieces. And this is the finished business. Finished business. Five of swords reversed. You know, they, they're got to cut their losses. It's over, you know. They want to make they want to make up now. But business is done. There's no unfinished business. It's over. What is done is done. And it's over there. You got this wise guy who is, he, maybe he wants to promise not to do any work against you. Or it could be that he wasn't able to perform the labor that he promised others he would do. And now he wants to reconcile. Because it's over. Please do whatever you need to do with the genders. We've got many flames. Many flames. Playing with the light of others. The wise guy wasn't wise. The labor that they did against you failed. They want to promise that they won't work against you. or No, the wise guy isn't wise. The work against you failed. He could not... Perform the labor that he promised or something. We've got Ace of Pentacles here. So there is um, an opportunity for religious folks whose values aren't about money, who don't have crooked, shady value systems, you know, of neglecting others. dark side so their their values in the upright this says we have too many differences okay in the reverse it seems like you have aligned values but this says dark side so it's like There's no difference. This person has their value system. There's no difference in this person's value system than is in the dark side here. The values. See what it says here? 
We have too many differences, but it's in the reverse. So this religious person doesn't have too many differences from whatever's going on here in the dark side. They're here, there was, there's a new opportunity. There's this abundance here. You were able to preserve, preserve yourself. You maintain control. There's a teacher here who is guilty from the damage that they've caused, feeling pain from the damage that they've caused. They're grieving because this is ending. They're grieving because this is ending. They've been found guilty. They're grieving because this is ending. They've got upside down values. They're in the dark side. Judgment is being called. Uh, six of swords in the reverse. There's, they're resistant to change. Um, they don't get to go. They don't get to get in that boat and travel anywhere. Delayed plans. They failed in their purpose. They were longing to be you. They want to be seen as you. They're daydreaming about being seen as you. That's their gig, man. They got neglect. They weren't paying attention to what was important. Queen of Swords is here. Knows the truth. Not emotional about it. Um, there could be a... She could be very passionate about bringing a healing to the body of collective. So there's boundaries. There's clear boundaries around the collective body or the body. Or maybe she's got clear boundaries around her body and her passions. Everything that she's passionate about, which could be the collective here. Um, tired. Tired. Emotionally exhausted from dealing with everything. You deserve a break now. It's time for you to go enjoy yourself. You're very tired after this long, hard battle. Somebody wants to escape. Or there is somebody here who is tired, who wishes to escape because they lost. Yeah, I'm going to read it like that. So you're very passionate about this collective, this body that of... Um, this network that you got going on that you're building boundaries for somebody's tired they want to escape they have no energy and they lost they lost to this queen of swords and they're feeling crushed and childish full of anxiety because they have an empty cup ace of cups reverse they have an empty cup they got caught up in a whirlwind tempted by the snake and they have to face it they need an exit plan they can't take yours they got burned by all of these secrets, all of these broken promises, and now they're trying to reconnect. And you're like, you're so far distant from them, you don't want to have anything to do with them. They're unable to free themselves from the ruins, this entanglement that they manifested, trying to stick you in. But now they're struggling because they have a they have a long, long road of this that they have to deal with. And everything's crumbling because you are leaving. You're taking your Nine of Pentacles. What was that here? This, we had, um, we had, uh, oh, maybe I was thinking of another one. Yeah, Nine of Cups, Ten of Cups. Nine of Pentacles. You're set. You got some good stuff coming up because you survived that the attempt their attempt to disconnect you as a third party hoe bag, but you you were never that. These ones are such big liars trying to cast illusions and punish innocent people. So now um, they won't be able to settle down. They're being set adrift and life is going to be very rocky. For those who are guilty of making your life hard and, and making you do it alone. They're drowning here. Because they've been beat. And their needs aren't being met. So. They're. Um, man. 
it's interesting to me, you know, how folks are so used to being, they expect people to um, let them guide them, you know, so they offer unsolicited advice and they try to force it on you and, and expect you to adhere to what it is they have to say and they don't have any desire to hear about your dreams or your ideas they just want to tell you theirs and force it in on your energy and have you manifest it for them and this is just weird it's just freaking weird so you got um some of the snake has the ace of cups in the reverse they're repressing their emotions there's no love in them they have no love in their world uh whatever divination or prophecy they were told was false it was it was a bad prophecy they're getting reciprocation for everything that they did they could not trap you in a rabbit hole they couldn't trap you in some crazy drama gift gift The gift, the gift they wanted to give you is the gift they get. They couldn't trap you in the rabbit hole. They wanted to trap this gift in the rabbit hole, but they were not able to do it. The gift is you. They're challenged because there's a punishment here. Justice reversed. They lied. They have a lack of accountability. They're guilty. You have a defense. You're, you love yourself. And you're still trying to heal from the games that they were playing with your love. Career. Career. But this is in the reverse. They didn't get your career. They wanted your career. They wanted your nine of pentacles, nine of nine of cups, ten of cups, union, two of they wanted it and they couldn't get it. They wanted your connections, your life. The hermits here shining a light on everything. You survived being disconnected. You're not a third party whole bag and there's no forgiveness here. They meant to hurt you and they meant to keep you there. They wanted to trap your gifts so that they could claim that they were theirs. So they were very negative and bringing you chaos. And you laughed about it. You can laugh about it. They were hiding their true intentions. They want to bring you chaos. There's no forgiveness here. And you're laughing about it. You're just laughing it off. It's like, what the hell ever? You know what these people are doing. You can see clearly. You got your nine of pentacles here. You've got the fruits of your labor. Reward. You're on your spiritual throne and you're acting fierce. You may be acting aggressive, but you're just protecting yourself. This snake wants to escape. And, and they, you know, you're the meal ticket. And you're not curious about these ones at all. It's like, nope, get out. You're, you don't, you're not intrigued by them at all. No curiosity at all. You are fierce. You're like, get out. I don't want to know anything about you. I have not, no interest in what you have to say. It's all a lie anyway. The truth is in the reverse. It's all a freaking lie anyway. Everything out of their mouth is a freaking lie. Because everything's in pieces and they're trying to save their butts. Yeah, with unsolicited advice. They want to alter your thinking. They want to alter your dream and your presentation in the world, what you manifest. They want you to manifest what they think you should be manifesting. And they want it to look like how they think it should look. This ancestry here and those who are working with them, they want to pretend to be you. They want you to think like them. They may be sending a message of unsolicited advice, but it's the re the truth is in the reverse. It's not the truth. It's a big lie. Yeah, they're going to come at you as though they're friendly. Or it could be that this connection is friendly. They... Um, This wise guy, 
they're having revenge remorse okay they're in regret they want to make amends business is over there were many flames that they went through okay trying to get your position take that as it resonates for you but the wise guy the labor that they did didn't work the promise that they made didn't manifest the wise guy isn't so wise Tribe, tribe in the reverse. You're not aligned with them. They're not your kind of people. They're not your tribe. They're trying to force you. They want to. They wanted to force you. Like they wanted to steal your life. They wanted to steal your path. They wanted to steal this from you. They're not related to you. They're not your tribe. This is a Joe Schmo off the street who wanted to what? Unalive you. In some kind of a ritual to spiritually siphon and steal your role, your your identity. They're not your tribe. They don't have a contract. They don't have a right to your energy. And yet they're trying to take it anyway and they couldn't pull it off. So there is abundance here. A new cycle, and you, you could say a new cycle is about to begin anew regarding pentacles. Okay, of religious organizations or whatever who had very upside down value systems with the dark side. Or they abandoned their values for that collaboration nobody wants to work with them nobody wants to work with them now um, seven of wands you stood up for yourself you persevered through this challenge uh, you learned a lot or it could be that there's a teacher here who is guilty this teacher you you um, have protection you stood up for this challenge you maintain control from this teacher who is guilty, feeling the da feeling pain from the damage they caused. They're grieving that it didn't work out the way that they had imagined. And it's ending. It's over. This is in the environment. Everybody can see that it's time for them to let go. They were collaborating with the dark side. And now nobody wants to work with them. They're very uncertain. They, they can't figure it out. Judgment is being called here. They're not going anywhere. We got the Six of Swords in the reverse. They're not um, transitioning into a new... Um, ...role as you. They couldn't take your spiritual throne. They failed in their purpose. So look, delayed plans. They're not going to walk in your purpose. They're being called... Judgment is on them. So this is a new phase. They're not going anywhere. They failed in their purpose. They're not going to transition into this, this um, spiritual. They're not going to transition into your position here. That they were, day, they were daydreaming. They're daydreaming about neglecting you. They're longing for you. Or maybe they're longing for you because they're being neglected. They failed in their purpose. They don't get to move on. Bad, bad teacher. No tricks. They can't trick anybody anymore. They couldn't trick anybody. They tried to trick people. The trick failed. So the Queen of Swords is here in truth regarding this body. It could be a body of people. It could be um, her own body with setting clear boundaries. She's very passionate, very passionate, intense. Maybe her body is going through some sort of um, trans uh, transformation. 
And so, and this other one here, this snake is tired. Uh, they don't have any energy. They want to escape because they've lost. Those who used love as an escape, they've lost this time around. They couldn't trap you. They're still going to send people positive. They're not feeling positive about it. Their intentions are not pure. Their intentions aren't pure. You know the truth about this. You're very passionate about healing the body, the collective body, the mental body, the, um, the emotional body, the energetic body. It's like this crap, you know, of people brutalizing the hearts and minds and emotions of others for my financial gain is getting the f out of here it's going away goodbye they have an obligation to support you for undermining everything that you build their growth their greed was the cause of their growth. They stole everything from by sabotaging love in a very unfriendly way. So now they need a safe space. So they're asking a big favor from somebody who is honest and has a future of honesty. Or maybe this imposter wants to latch on to you so that they can be covered by you and your honesty in the future. So they went alone. They, maybe they want a date. They're desperate here. So they went alone. They want a date. They want advice. They want to share bad news. Anything to reconnect with you. They want to check in because they're concerned about their health. They want to be part of your health and wellness. You're very passionate about healing this. And they don't want you to do that. You have, you're, empath you're empathic. You care very, very much. And you have plans here. They want to apologize. They want to get on, get in on your perspective. They want to get a small favor. They want to gaslight your your mental body. They want to gas. They want to uh, deliberately manipulate your perception of reality. They want to change your dream and the way that you see life and and view your future and what you may do with it. They want to offer unsolicited advice. They're dishonest. They want to f with your mind. By sharing some great news that's going to wind up being vengeful. Vengeful entertainment regarding the past. They were bragging. They were bragging. They're, everybody's gossiping about it. They were bragging about what they were going to do to you. Because you were welcoming them. And that was their secret. They were venting. They were offloading stuff onto you. And it could be that they're yelling and wanting to fight with you, but you're uninterested in it. You don't want to have anything to do with it. It's like just, you're not interested in talking. They want to um, force their way into your life as an authority. And you're like, look, I don't want to talk to you. Why are you, why, are, why, why do people think that you, that you're obligated to deal with their horse crap attitude and their need to present as an authority in your life? Why do people do that? Especially people you don't even know. Why are you here presenting as an authority in my life? That's just so strange to me. You know, people want to approach you and they want to have the right to spill whatever kind of um, hot tea. I know more than you kind of an attitude on your on your page or in your life or wherever it is that you're at and it's like why do you approach me with that I don't understand it's like either you know either you are in agreement with me and would like to be friends or you just want to be an asshat and come and try to create drama in my life if you don't like what I say then don't be around if you don't if you're not part of the dream then just go away because I'm not dreaming anybody else's dream. I'm dreaming mine. And I'm not trying to mess up anybody else's dream. It's like, that's your dream. Go have it. You know? But no, everybody's got to come in and say, well, I think it should be this. And I think it should be that. And it's like, please go. Because you're not my friend. You're a handler. 
So you got um, self-love here <coughs> in the reverse. <coughs> this person's love, oh shoot, death. Emptiness, their cup is empty. Whatever is in their cup, it could be they're getting reciprocation. Whatever they put you through with this disconnect, trying to bury you and take your spiritual throne, they're going to experience it. All that negative chaos. So that's what they get. Because they could not trap you, gift, in the rabbit hole. So they're getting reciprocation. They're getting what they gave. Whatever divination they received, it was bad, bad advice. They totally messed up. They really messed up by lying about you. They're going to get a punishment. You have been defended or you were able to defend yourself. They could not steal your career. They were playing games with love and they were trying to take you out. But you loved yourself to help. And we got change here. So there's a change. You're laughing here. You're laughing. The light is on. The hermit is here. You got your light on. You're all lit up. Your soul is shining. You're very, very happy. You're having fun with your life. You survived being disconnected by these jack wagons, this ancestry. Okay. You weren't ever a third party little hoe bag. It was not you ever. That was not you. And that was their excuse for putting you, for disconnecting you. And it was all a lie. It was never true. There is no forgiveness here. They cannot be forgiven for what this is. They can be released. They can just say, you know, disappear and pretend like you never existed. I don't care. Because they were being very, very negative and bringing chaos to your life. And it could be that this is what they're going to experience now. They got this death here. Everything that they know is ending. And they're going to be thrust into negativity and chaos for causing all this adversity for you. And you're moving forward. You can laugh. You're going to move forward and you're going to have some fun here. Yeah, you're going to have some fun. It's time for you to have fun. You survived this horrendous attempt to take you out of this world by these ones. Now you've got your nine of pentacles and your spiritual throne. You're acting fierce. You're acting aggressive and you don't care. You're just protecting yourself. And this snake is wanting to escape this. You have no curiosity about this. You're not intrigued by this person. You don't. There's nothing to learn from this person. You're being very fierce with this person. And they have no discipline. Whoever the snake is, they have no discipline. Or just a jack wagon. So you've got your two of cups here. There's a unified love partnership, a mutual attraction. It's friendly. This ancestry who is pretending to be you, this snake of ancestors, um, they're getting the message or they're sending a message. It's, re it's the truth in the reverse. Everything's in pieces. They're in regret for lying. They're in regret for lying. They're, they're in the message. Everybody knows they lied. And now everything's falling apart for them. This ancestry of actors. Everybody knows they lied. And everything's falling apart for them. They're envious. They're just an envious little... Uh, I don't even know what, what they are. But they play with the light. And the life force essence of um, others. They feel somehow they own the energy that um, the Most High God gifted to another life form when they incarnated here. And they feel they can just go take it <clears throat> whenever they want. So now they're having revenge remorse. They came after you and that was not very smart. Business is finished. It's done. They're sitting here with many, many flames. Growth. There could be a growth on them. They're not your tribe. It's a negative. It's a dark tribe. Maybe this, yeah, this wise guy made a promise 
but his labor didn't work. He made a promise to this upside down tribe, this ancestry who is of actors and actresses. So they made a promise to this person. The wise guy was not so wise. The labor that they were doing is in the reverse. It's not working or it's just really bad stuff. And um, they're not your tribe anymore. You got away from them. There could be a growth here. It says, I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. There could be a growth in their mind. It could be... Um, they could be um, having an awareness of some kind of a growth. They could be having an awareness of your growth. The fact that you have grown. And they're in grief about it. They probably didn't expect you to become more than you were. When they, when they stuck you in this hole. Um, they didn't expect you to come out of that cocoon like a butterfly. <laughs> shining all your bright light you know completely transformed they have no idea what they're dealing with now so there's a new venture here for the religion um whose values were upside down um in the dark nobody wants to collaborate with them anymore they failed there's a failure here so there's a new cycle regarding the money of this religious person, organization, whose values were upside down in the dark. Nobody wants to work with them. They failed. You persevered through this in the environment. You've got a defense standing up for yourself. This teacher is guilty and um, feeling the pain from the damage that they've caused. They're grieving because it didn't work out the way they imagined. And they're uncertain because this is ending. They're uncertain. Health. They're uncertain about their health. It could be that the, their health is ending. Why? Because they, they can't siphon your light anymore. Could be that they're uncertain about their health. It could do, have something to do with this growth. They want forgiveness. There's judgment being called here. Six of Swords in the reverse. They're not able to transition. They're not able to move on. They can't release the baggage. They are the baggage. Uh, they failed in their purpose. They could not trick anybody. They're daydreaming and longing for you. And um, they're not paying attention to what's really important. It could be that they're daydreaming of neglecting you. Or they're daydreaming of the way that they neglected you. They want to neglect you. Or it could be that they're thinking about the neglect that's going to come for them. Because they weren't able to trick anybody. Surrender in the reverse. You did not surrender. You refused to surrender. You refused to surrender to these people. You survived being disconnected. And lied on. They tried to paint you as a third party hoe bag. And it was never ever you. These people are sick. So you're the queen of swords. You're clear minded. You know exactly what's going on here. You're very passionate about the body. The health of the body. This could be your body. But as the queen of swords. Calling judgment and delivering justice. Setting clear boundaries. Uh, very clear-minded and direct. I would say that you're very passionate about the collective body. And the health and the well-being of these um, stars and suns out here in love. Somebody's, these, um, these foes or whatever these snakes they're tired they don't have any energy they were using love as an escape they wish to escape they've lost they're not feeling positive here And there's no forgiveness. No forgiveness. Look at this. 
no forgiveness. No permission to continue in this kind of crap for gain and power and authority and domination over other people's lives, you know, and their minds. You're a being of service. These ones don't know what to do. They're full of doubt now regarding the adversity that they were bringing to you. Because you're successful. You know that there's no greater than goal than to love and you are a peaceful person. And they have to accept the fact that you're happy. This is a time for happiness. They're, they're in grief because you are balanced. They're guilty and they're worried because their friends are calling judgment for what they did to love, for denying love to people who really cared about them and trusted them. They're afraid because um, relationships that serve the higher good, they messed around with relationships that serve the higher good and their purpose. And now they're in regret because the abundant, limitless being who can manifest whatever they desire in this world was never alone. They thought they disconnected them, but they were never alone. And they were always full of gratitude for the challenges that life presented. And they faced it with inner strength and courage. And they persevered honestly. And now they are free from the blame that these ones were trying to put on them. And they know patience, everything happens in divine order. Um, they possess gifts of the soul that benefit themselves and others. Pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. And this isn't like, um, like egotistical pride. This is the body, the collective body, the, the family, and the health and well-being of their mental health and their emotional health and their energetic health and whether somebody's harvesting them or using them for just to come in and take their stuff you know, deceit, lies, and all of that. No, Queen of Swords is here, and she's like, I see you, I know the truth, I can, and, and this is my family. She's very, very passionate about her family. She's not offering forgiveness for these ones. I hope that this clarifies something that you already intuitively knew, and I'll see you on the next one, everybody.